How the brain charts choices before we move. Have you ever wondered how your brain chooses between different actions, like deciding whether to catch a ball, switch a radio station, or press a key on your computer, even when the movements themselves are similar? A groundbreaking new study may have the answer, and it lies in how your brain maps possibilities. Researchers discovered that our brains appear to organize potential actions and their outcomes in cognitive maps, similar to the way we navigate through space. But instead of charting terrain, these maps chart choices. Using immersive virtual reality and fMRI scanning, participants in this study learned to perform different actions to control a virtual ball. Then, they compared those learned actions while their brain activity was recorded. What scientists found was stunning. The hippocampus, known for memory and spatial navigation, lit up in patterns that suggested it was building a map, not of space, but of action plans and their outcomes. And here's the twist. This cognitive map wasn't just a static memory bank. It actively communicated with the motor system, integrating what we could do with how we do it. The closer two actions were in this mental map, the more participants perceived them as similar. That means our brains aren't just recalling actions, they're navigating them. This discovery reshapes how we think about behavior and decision-making. It suggests that our ability to select the most appropriate action in any given context isn't just about muscle memory or instinct. It's about internal navigation through a map of possibilities. Cognitive maps, it turns out, may be the unseen architecture that helps us move, decide, and adapt, from catching a ball to crafting a life plan. This video is based on the research paper, Hippocampal and Torinal Cognitive Maps and Cortical Motor System Represent Action Plans and Their Outcomes by Irina Barnavelli et al. in Nature Communications. What do you think about this study? Drop us a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more neuroscience news updates.